We're coming to you live from Tokyo, Japan at the world famous Krokyo Dome. You know, world famous doesn't mean as much as it used to since most of the world is a charred wasteland, but you get the meaning. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Hexon Oilers take on the Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because MFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. It's almost time for kickoff, and I could not be more thrilled. I know. You won't stop squeezing my shoulder. Sorry, Briggs. It's uh, just so exciting. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's in the 20. The 10. And he scores! He took that kickoff return all the way back. Put six on the board. Great run. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. Great kick. Too bad they don't get points for touchbacks. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and five. Freud rage. How do you like your brain? Scramble to fry. One right wing breakfast special coming up. He can go all the way. He's hit the 40. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm sad to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Yeah. Second down, and, he, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Wasn't all. 
All-Pro MFL hit. Third down, and the punter is warming up. It's a glitter assumption. Watch that, Grim. And he punched his way out of that tackle. run he bursts through the end zone for six okay nice and easy like a two-foot putt you miss two-foot putts all the time Grim. the kick is good Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Man, he just kicked a living shit out of that ball. Hey, Grim, I thought that after shit gate, you couldn't inflate your balls with shit no more. Yeah, he don't care. This guy's been a shit baller since he came into the league. And it's first and ten. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and seven. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and seven. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And that'll bring up third down and in inches. for a first down. Well, just when I thought only noobs would go for it on fourth for no real reason, they convert. But did they just get really lucky? Stay tuned. Stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Second down and five. into a hurry-up 
to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you mark. You've got to catch that. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Bricks. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? Can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Oh my God! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind. Now that's just the berserker rage kicking in. This guy, he never had a mind to begin with. Yeah, you're right. I don't even get out of it. Yeah. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. It's the NFL Halftime. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Great kick! Too bad they don't get points for touchbacks. Second down and two. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten.
First and ten. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you get this guy. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. Oh, with a brutal hit. First and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score the 20 he's at the 10 and he scores We should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. Watch. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Gorgeous kick. Better ensure that leg. Who knows how long he'll keep it. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. He can't keep a good mutant. Oh, with a brutal hit. Nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And the two-minute warning sounds. They'll have to regroup during this timeout. Second down and a lot. Watch out. The ball carriers brought a chainsaw to the field. <laughs> to stop the clock they have two left first down and nine kaboom and the and that was a perfect pass and he scores handily you know bricks we might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze this guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain but man he is programmed to get down and get funky Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Here 
comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a pace. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Third down and... Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You gotta use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move his huge pass play for one yard. Third down and nine. It's a two-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. And with that play, the fans are heading out of the stadium. This one's over. Pathetic. And it's first and ten. QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Or at least he could set himself on fire. And like Rex's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The Tokyo Terminators win the game today. Folks, this wasn't even close. It was a total shellacking, like watching a knife cut through butter. More like an axe through butter, Grim. More like a chainsaw through baby shit, because that pretty much describes what we just saw. And the MVP of today's game is just about to speak. As soon as he gets his jaw back in place. Oh, okay, there he's got it now. Got it. Yep. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flick or ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace.